to have a look at how to work Dr. Burnell's uh, coursework checker on Mac OS. So there are some permissions issues, which mean that on newer versions of Mac OS, you probably can't use it with Spider. So we have to use it in the terminal instead. So the first thing you want to do is to put all of your files together somewhere sensible where you can find them. So I've made a folder on my desktop called computing2. And inside, I've got the .dat file with the uh, test data that I'm going to use. I've got the coursework checker.py that we've downloaded from Minerva. And I've got my uh, submission. This is my final code that I'm going to upload for the coursework. It's got my username as the name. And then it's a .py file. So this is a, a raw Python file. This is not a Jupyter notebook. So if you've written it in Jupyter, you'll need to copy and paste your code into Spider or a text editor and save it as a .py file. You can't just change the file name of a Jupyter file to .py, it won't work. So once you've done all that, we need to open a terminal. So I'm gonna start Spotlight, that's command space, and start typing in terminal, hit enter. It's gonna open a terminal. Now, if you've installed Anaconda correctly and you haven't changed any settings, you'll see the word base here. And that means that Python and Anaconda are loaded correctly. If you don't see that there, um, then you might not have the correct Python version accessible in the terminal and you're gonna need some extra help. Uh, you can also double check by doing which space Python hit enter, and you should see Anaconda, or in my case, Miniconda, uh, in this line here. Okay, it won't look exactly the same. Um, you'll probably see Anaconda here. Okay, so we need to change our terminal so that it's in the same folder as all of our files. So when we open the terminal, we're in what's called our home folder, and we need to get the desktop folder and then the computing2 folder. So I'm going to type cd space, that's change directory, then I'm going to write desktop slash computing and then the other slash space, so I've got a space in my directory name here so I have to escape it with the slash 2 and then the forward slash at the end and hit enter. Now it's changed into the directory. You might have got a message up asking for permission from Mac OS to access your desktop files, and you just need to click OK if that uh, message comes up. Now if I do LS, oh, in fact, now I'm going to get that message. So this is the message you may well see, and I can click OK. It's just saying it's OK for the terminal to access my desktop. So the command I've just run is, L S return and this has listed the files ls is for list and we can see the same file names here as we can see in here so we're in the correct folder i now want to run the coursework checker so i'm going to run i python so there's an i at the front there i python space and now i'm going to use quotes coursework checker, end quotes, and hit enter. This will now run the coursework checker. There's a warning here um, to do with a, a module being slightly uh, older, but we can just ignore that. That's completely fine. It'll just take a little second. It has to download a bit of data from online. And now the coursework checker is running and it's going to ask us for our username. So this is why your submission file, your Python file must be your username because it's going to um, use that to look for your Python file. And then the name of our data file, assessment data, that. So remember, if you've put any spaces or special characters into your file name, you might need to put quotes around this, or you might need to 
escape special characters using slashes. So if in doubt, just write your data file name. You can just rename it here using just the normal rename and remove any spaces or special characters just to make it easier to deal with. I'm going to hit enter. And the coursework checker is now running. And in a minute, we'll see the output. It's quite slow. And there we go. So it's fin finished running and you can scroll back through and have a look at the results. If everything was good, then it's basically telling you what it's doing. So it's looking for things that might be bad and then saying, oh, actually, OK, you didn't do that, which is good. So this doesn't mean that your code is necessarily correct. It just means that your code is not breaking things badly and that you are giving some results back that can actually be checked. All of the text that's output here is also in this text file alongside all of your results. OK, um, if you have any more issues uh, with this and you can't get it to run, then post something um, on the Minerva forum. Um, and if there's time, Dr. Burnell might get around to seeing to it and replying, but obviously we're quite close to the deadline now.